cars meant to get you home safely are now turning into dead beds. In yet another horrific case of a car catching fire, two specially enabled teenagers lost their lives in the capital on Wednesday. Their uncle, who was driving the car, managed to escape after a passerby helped him break the window on his side. But the siblings failed to come out as the doors got jammed. The center the car didn't open the car. If the car didn't open the car, the car didn't open the car. The car didn't open the car. The car didn't open the car. But the car didn't open the car. This is the latest in a series of incidents of cars going up in flames in the past few months. So what is it that's making our cars unsafe? With modernization, you know, you have to be very careful. In the good old days, you know, you did not have pressurized fuel. You didn't have complicated wiring systems and computers on board and so on. So now with all these new gizmos on board, sensitivity has come into it. And you've got a pressurized fuel sitting all the time ready. Should there be a negligence anywhere, it is ready to fire. Just a few handy tips in case you get caught in a car fire. Always keep a solid object in your car that can be used to break the glass windows. Also break the side windows, not the front one or the back one as they are anyway laminated. Also, having a small extinguisher in your car can be helpful as well. With that being said, it's high time now to put the focus on often neglected car safety. With Bharat Bhushan in New Delhi, this is Sahil Murli Meghani.